Famed Harvard business professor Michael Porter said, the essence of strategy is choosing what not to do. Your company cannot be all things to all people, so you have to make strategic decisions. You have to choose what you will do and what you will not do. The goal of strategy is to achieve strategic competitiveness. To do this, you have to formulate and implement a business strategy. You have to make commitments and take actions. This is a super simple diagram to illustrate that when you take what your company will do and what your company will not do, you may come up with competitive advantage. The problem is it's not as simple as all of that. And I want to illustrate that using Monopoly. So my strategy for Monopoly is well refined. I know which properties I will buy and which I will not. I trade generously to get the most important properties. Sometimes I give a little extra to get the trade to work. I know which properties to develop and which ones to wait on. If I execute my strategy, I will win. The problem is that other players' strategies usually overlap with mine. We target some of the same properties, so I have to continually adapt and refine my strategy throughout the game. You should also adapt and refine your company's strategy. You should be focused on creating value for your customers in ways that your competitors have a difficult time copying. And it's important to remember that no competitive advantage is permanent. Sears used to dominate retail, but now it's nearly gone. Companies like Walmart built better and more efficient global value chains. Payless Shoe Source was a great company that went bankrupt. Despite a great supply chain, they just couldn't keep up with online advancements. Blockbuster Video was awesome on a Friday night, but was too slow to adapt to Redbox and Netflix. I think you get the point. The world is always changing, so your company must always be adapting. Many of these changes are related to technological advancement and globalization. Internet, energy, smartphones, satellite communication, and other advancements have altered the competitive landscape forever. Global supply chains allow flexible companies to shift operations and procurement to lower cost areas developing other economies at the same time. It is absolutely critical to maintain strategic flexibility to keep your company competitive despite these ongoing changes. So what about your company? What technological or global changes have occurred in the last 20 years that affect your industry and your company specifically? How has your company adapted to those changes or been left behind? Through continual advancement and strategic flexibility, you can keep your company competitive for years to come. Keep watching for lots of discussions on how your company can build and execute a winning business strategy. Have a great day.